Hey yo, what's up everybody, Deep Games here. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video today where I'm going to be trying to answer the question, can you make a zombies map within 24 hours? I also have little to no mod experience, so this kind of went terribly. So let's get into the video. So for starters, I'm going to try to recreate this little spawn area right here within the Black Ops 3 mod tools. And when I first had this video in mind, my original thought was, hey, I can make the entire map within Blender and then import that Blender file over into the Black Ops 3 mod tools and then just retexture the map like that. But unfortunately, it's not that easy because I cannot use Blender to import files over into the Black Ops 3 mod tools. I just ended up sucking it up and learning how to design the level within the Black Ops 3 mod tools, which eventually wasn't too hard when I got the hang of it. But personally, I'm not a huge fan of using these tools to design a level. Since I've already messed with the mod tools a little bit, and as you saw, I made my own really crappy Minecraft texture there at the beginning of the video. I now started working on importing textures from Minecraft itself into the mod tools. So how I did this, originally I was going to use a texture pack that I normally run when I play Minecraft, but I figured it was going to be too much and I should just stick with the classic original Minecraft textures because it's more iconic and recognizable. So what I did is I grabbed all the textures and then I kind of blew them up in the, this program that I'm using right here. Um, at the moment, I'm actually having to recreate the grass texture because for some reason in the Minecraft files, the grass texture is just like this gray color. I think it's so that they can change it depending on the biome and stuff in game. So I had to recolor this, which was kind of a pain. So it's not going to look identical to how like a normal Minecraft grass block would look. But after this, the rest of the textures, all I really have to do is blow them up and then change the file name. That way I can import them over into the Black Ops 3 mod tools. As you can see, we're back over in the mod tools and I was able to just create basic blocks and then throw the textures onto those blocks. That way I can kind of essentially play Minecraft in Black Ops 3 mod tools so I can recreate the spawn area. As you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. I've started just create recreating the outer walls as that starter area that you just saw. So that way, all I got to do is recreate one wall and then I could just duplicate that. So that way I can pretty much get that entire starting compound within this whole like starting area that they give you. So as you can see right here, there's that little window I just had to open up. And with that window, that's kind of how you design levels within the Black Ops 3 mod tools. So essentially you can use that to like kind of reshape your walls and stuff like that as you can kind of see me doing here. And personally, I'm not a huge fan of this just because I prefer using like Unity and just creating a level like that is just much more simpler. But I eventually was able to get the hang of it. As you can see here, I was able to get the outer walls done and then just duplicated them that way I can get the full compound done and then after that I just slapped a basic grass texture onto the floor that way I now just have essentially what you saw at the beginning a very simple version of that compound so now that I have the compound almost done here I'm just about to do my first little play test and one of the things I found out while making like I guess researching for this video if you want to count that I played a couple like Minecraft maps before this to try to get an understanding of how people made their own versions of it. And one of the things I noticed is you'll see the doorway is actually two and a half blocks tall. That's because apparently the Black Ops 3 model cannot make it through a normal like one by two doorway. So I had to make it one by two and a half, that way I can fit. So you'll see I have to crouch under here and I believe the zombies won't actually be able to go through there. So because of that, that's why most of the doorways is gonna be a little off. Along with a lot of things in this, they're gonna be quite adjusted. That way it's easier for the player and zombies to make it through like doorways or like staircases and stuff like that. So next up, I'm kind of working on the exit way, which this will kind of lead the starting compound out to where the main map is. You'll see here in a second where I kind of want it to lead out to. Since the ha like the compound in the map was kind of off and way off in the distance, I kind of readjusted it. So as you can see right here, this is where like our dock is that kind of leads out into the ocean. I'm going to kind of have the entry compound lead out to that area right there. And then next up, I start working on fences. So what I want to do is I kind of want to have like fences kind of be like the barrier for players and be like, hey, this is the area you're allowed to stay into. So that way, because in most zombie maps, you don't want to have like giant wide open areas because it kind of makes the map just really easy to play because you can just train really easily. So in the map, I'm going to kind of have these fences right here kind of be like the little barrier to tell players, hey, you got to kind of stay in this area, which I'll have invisible barriers too, which will obviously keep them in that area. But this will kind of just be like a director to say like, hey, this is the areas you're allowed to be into. This is the first little break I take in this little challenge. And the only time I stopped the timer because I promised my friends I'd do a destiny raid with them. So you'll see here in a second that I paused the timer to go do the raid with my friends. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
politics. Don't let me die. Oh my god. I Holy shit. Let me die. <laughs> that was I crazy. Really said, Don't let me Thank die. It, come on. I'm trying. Oh. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, you gotta stop launching people with the swords. <laughs> come on. Uh, uh, fight of 14. Oh. And then I'm right back to working on the challenge. So if there's like a two hour skip and you wonder why the timer pauses, that's why. But I do take more breaks, but I don't pause the timer throughout the rest of the video. That's the only time I really do that. Next up here, you can see I start working on the zombie spawners. This is the first time I really messed with that. I make a little window barrier. I end up making two of them and one of them doesn't work. And I figured this out later on because I have the wrong type of spawner there. But this is the first like actual spawners I get going on the map. And then after that, I went and worked on the rest of the textures that I planned on using for the rest of this map. So I figured out later on that there is an asset pack for Minecraft that gives you all these textures and more so you don't have to make your own. So I wasted a crap ton of time, as you could see the little time skip from where I was working in the files for the first time to this part now. I spent all that time just working on importing the textures and oh my god, it was a pain in the ass. So one of the things I wanted to challenge myself while doing when making this map is spend the first 12 hours essentially making the map, which would be like the whole playable area. And then the other 12 hours working on like the coding, which would be essentially like the zombie spawners and all the stuff like that. Unluckily for me, I didn't know jack shit about mod tools going into this challenge. So working on the map itself, I was way in over my head and I spent way too much time working on the map itself because I was trying to do a one for one recreation. Eventually I give up on the one for one recreation and just focus on making a one for one recreation of all the houses that were in the world. And I kind of design out my own path in the world that makes it easier. So at least I have a one for one recreation of all the houses, even if I can't get a one for one recreation of all the like the island itself because that would be a pain in the ass and i would have to spend much more time than just 24 hours on this challenge so right now i'm still working on the bridge and this is where our portal was on the map uh this lead into like an underground or not an underground an underwater dome where we had a ruined portal which we kind of restored and i could not get the glass texture to work in nor did i think it would look good if i tried making that so i just put the top part up there and then next up, I started working on the beach. As you can see, I'm trying to get like an overview of kind of how I want to do this. And I realized right here after I finished working on the beach that it was going to be an impossible. It was going to be impossible to make a one for one recreation of the map. As you can see, if you look at the time, uh, it skips from like four hours to one hour right as I kind of finished the first little section part of the beach. And that's when it kind of hit me and I was like, hey, yeah, maybe I'm spending way too much fucking time on this. So I make the rest of the map a lot more simpler. I do actually make a one for one recreation of the little lake that you can kind of see in the top right there. But besides that, um, yeah, it's the rest of the map is going to look a lot more like dumbed down versus what the Minecraft map would have looked like. Next up, I start working on the first house out of four. This one was my house when I made when we made the world and it was by far the most complicated to recreate mainly just because of the shape of it all and then the roof and then the basement i try to recreate all of that perfectly and for the most part i did a pretty good job i had the basement one for one recreated perfectly except for those little bubble elevators and you'll see later on most elevators we can't add because i don't know how to do that nor do i really want to mess with that so most of those i just replaced with stairs but for the most part i was able to recreate this whole house one for one perfectly i did have to go back and change the basement so zombies could actually walk out of there because before they just would get stuck down there and the map would just not be playable so i eventually went and replaced that for, for the most part the house should be perfect one for one recreation and after i finished the house i tried to do my first little test and i learned that i deleted the player volume player volumes are essentially like zones which allows the player to walk into without dying so if you go out of the zone you'll insta die so when i deleted it that's why i just instantly died like that but eventually i was able to get it back in there and got it fixed and working and this is me kind of doing a little walk around to make sure i can walk around all the areas in the house now that i got the house and like the outer area lake kind of done So next up here, I go down and kind of lay a path within our map. That way it's easier for me to make like a one for one recreation. That way I can count the wooden blocks and then just recreate this wooden path here to each house. So that way I kind of am still able to recreate the map one for one without having to spend too much time on recreating all the terrain. Because like I mentioned before, I would have to spend too much time on that and just not enough time that I have that I wanted to use in this challenge. So as you can see here, I skip 
ahead like five hours and I have at this point most of the house is done I don't really have a good shot of it that I can find so here's just kind of what the map looks like after five hours here I was kind of losing my mind and forgot I had to upload a video the next day so I went and rendered that real quick I did not pause the timer this time like I did for the last little break so next up I do the best I can to try to finish up the terrain and the map itself that way I can focus on just like the coding and the level design and all that at this point in time too I should not have saved all the like hard stuff which is essentially learning how to like make viable doors and all that stuff for the end because I was just really tired and trying to learn new stuff while you're tired is not easy I can say that so unfortunately um, I was not able to get much of that stuff in there at the end you can kind of see I'm trying to work on getting the viable doors and then it ends up breaking it and I just lose my goddamn mind so here's kind of a quick little tour of what the map looks like at the moment here's the first little house the water texture I found too was actually not great I pretty much made it from scratch because I couldn't get the proper minecraft water texture but due to the minecraft asset pack that I find later on I am able to fix it and actually make it look good but here's kind of what all the houses look like and what the terrain kind of looks like and just what essentially the whole playable area will look like i do go back and add more to this later on because i felt it was a little bit plain but that's kind of what i got for the moment this is the point where i tried adding the bible doors and it just broke the game and i was just losing my goddamn mind i only i don't have too much time left in this challenge and i try, wanted to try to get that working as like one final thing so i could be happy with but unfortunately I could not get it to work. So here is kind of just me doing one final play test of the map before I call it good and then just move on and go to bed because I was just exhausted at this point. So to answer my question that I asked myself at the beginning, can you make a zombies map in 24 hours? Um, probably if you know what the hell you're doing, but with little to no experience, no, not really. I technically have a zombies map here like it is technically playable but it's not fun like you wouldn't have fun playing the zombies map compared to all the other stuff that's kind of on there but I did go back and add more onto it so as you can see this is kind of one final shot of what the island looks like and then after spending a lot more time onto it this is kind of what the map looks like with a bunch of much more stuff added into it I have viable doors at this point player zones proper zombie spawns a way for zombies to mantle over like the fence and stuff as you can see i also added a little bit more to the island to make it look a little bit better and here's kind of a little sneak peek of what the map's gonna look like as you can see at the moment the map blinds the hell out of you that's because i haven't got the lighting done but for the most part all i gotta add is like perks and then weapons and mystery boxes around the map but the map itself should be done with all the doors and everything so it shouldn't be too much longer than i gonna spend on it hopefully i'll have the map out within a couple of weeks but if you did enjoy this video Make sure you like and subscribe. I'd like to revisit this challenge for future maps I have planned, but if this video doesn't do well, I probably won't because I kind of fucking suffered in those 24 hours. But if it does well, I might consider doing the challenge in the future. But my goal is to have the map completely done within the next couple of weeks. So I'll have a video of me and my friends playing this map, which are the friends that I made this Minecraft world is with. So you'll get to see our like full reactions and everything to the map. So once that video is up, the map will be fully like playable in the workshop. So if anybody was actually interested in playing it, you'll be able to on the workshop. But until then, I'll see you all next time.